automatically quantizing your audio, you can move them by hand individually. So let's take a closer look at that. Okay, we're gonna look at the track editor timeline ruler. Yes, the track editor does have its own time ruler that actually does not necessarily sync up to the regular timeline ruler as far as what notes are displayed. Now, we've learned in previous videos a long time ago, uh, up here in the top right corner, if we click on the little ruler, that this timeline grid is on 32 note, and we can change that accordingly to uh, whatever note that we want to set it on. Now, once we're taking a closer look and editing our audio regions, and uh, we have the track editor pulled up down here, we have the same option. Obviously, once I click and move the play marker, you can see up here that uh, the play marker moves along as well in sync. But one thing that is detached is the timeline ruler. As you can see from measure five to six, uh, we have, uh, if we move the play marker, it kind of snaps along to each one of these beats. So let's check out what beat that we have. We have the 12th or the 16th note. That is what it's displaying right now. So if we wanted to, let's do, let's change it to eighth notes. Now you can see that some of the, the lines have gone away. Now if I move the play marker, it snaps to those. So why does this help us? Why does that matter? Well, let's say you wanted to place one of your uh, drag markers, these guys, into a note that was kind of in between. So let's see, let's see. Let's just say if, uh, let's do quarter notes, okay. So now we have quarter notes displaying, right? And I wanted to click on this guy, but since it's right in between, uh, it's not going to necessarily work because once I click on, once I click on it, that little drag marker is going to snap to either one of these ones, and we don't want it there. We just want it to be perfectly right in between. So we just go over to the ruler, same icon as before, the little ruler in the corner. And let's go down to let's go down to eighth note, and that provides another line and a another line on the grid. So we can click on that, and boom, the drag marker is added right in the middle. And we know for certain that that current note is right there. So that is the importance of knowing that the time rule, or knowing that you can change your your settings of the time ruler. Because if we really wanted to zoom in, let's uh, let's go ahead and like zoom in a little bit more, and look at our audio waves. Um, you can really, really dissect it even more by doing 32 or even 64. Uh, let's go to 64 as an example. So you can really, really get in there if you want. So there you go. Have fun editing.